Hello. In this short documentary, I'll be focusing on a medical condition called bladder atrophy. I'll be focusing on what it is, why it is caused, and how it is normally fixed. I'll also be talking to a family who have gone through the whole process. Bladder atrophy is a condition where the bladder is exposed on the outside of the body after birth. This happens because the abdominal wall and the pelvis do not fuse or develop properly during the first few weeks of development inside the womb. Bladder atrophy only affects one in every 10 to 50,000 people. I'm about to have an interview with Andy and he will explain more in depth about Luke's story, what it was like with a kid with bladder atrophy and how he and his family coped. Reaction, felt on your own, felt something was drastically wrong, but you know, they were, yeah, just very good, sent us straight to St. Hampton Hospital, um, where we were told on one thing after another, but uh, yeah, it was a bit of a, a shock to see he wasn't formed properly down below. Mm. Uh, he wanted to be like his brother and his, his dad when he went to a wee and things like that, so that affected him. Why can't I wee like daddy and my brother? But he was very open with it. I think because he'd been born with it and grew up with it, was much, much more to cope with it because he knew no different. Um, it's only in later life I think it will affect. To fix bladder atrophy, normally you only need two operations. The first surgery separates the exposed bladder from the abdominal wall and closes the bladder. The bladder neck and urethra are repaired. A flexible hollow tube called a catheter, which is one of these, is placed to drain the urine from the bladder through the abdominal wall. A second catheter is left in the urethra to promote healing. The second surgery, which is called pelvic bone surgery, may be done along with the bladder repair or left for a few weeks or months. All this operation is is to reattach the pelvic bones together. A third surgery may be required if there is a bowel defect, but that is very rare. Luke's story was different. He has had many different operations and many different trials to try and fix bladder atrophy. In this interview I'm about to have with Luke, he will be explaining what it was like, how many he's had, and what it would generally like being a child who suffered from bladder atrophy. Well, I've had 39 operations altogether, but some of them would have been for the same purpose, like um, I had stones when I was five, and they're built up from mucus and formed into a stone, because that's where my bowel, uh, bladder works. Um, it forms, it's trying to form into poo. Um, instead, it's urine, so it can't. Um, and that happened when I was five and eight. So that was like people take the same operation, they just opened up the same scar. Um, but when I was three, they made my problems um, in the sense they made the big problem, and like the Mitrofenov stoma that took 14 hours to make. Um, apart from that, there's just been bits and bobs of operations which don't really, they, which connect to my problems but don't. The new operations that worked because I was one of the few because I was quite young and at the time I think I was one of the youngest. Um, yeah, they did work. I mean, normal people with my problems have the my trough on the side. I had it on the belly button because my concern thought when I grow up into the changing rooms, they're not going to know any different. Um, it's just going to be a weird belly button. Um, where if it's on the side, people ask questions. So that was one of the different types of operations he did. Um, and the other types of operations, they were normal operations, just the bladder extrophy one, changing my, putting my bowel in and putting the, um, using my appendix as a channel to go through to make the tunnel to go to my bladder. Um, that has been done before, but I'm, it's been done in different ways. And yeah, they worked as far as I'm aware. I did leak a couple of times, but that's just because of the um, girth of my belly button. I'll stop the whole world. I'll 
stop the whole world from turning into a monster. Hitting.